What's going on pirates? This is the Game Hunter channel with a new episode of Raids of Glory. A rock. I like the name, rock. Sounds powerful, right? Alright, so we are Pirate Mansion number level 4 and I'm building the blacksmith, finally. So we're gonna start upgrading on the scallywag and all those units that we have at this point. Have some news, of course. My barracks are level 3, so we have the clover available, right? The clover is like the giant, he's the guy with the massive, massive hit points that we're gonna use as a mid chill in the future. I can't wait for that. So we're probably gonna put this troop in the battlefield today. Uh, let me build a couple troops. There you go. Over here we got the shooting range, and I still need to upgrade the shooting range to level 3 in order to upgrade and get the sea dog. Alright? Scout Drill is doing a good job at taking defensive buildings, so I'm doing okay. Tavern level 2. So I got a maximum of 25 population at this point. And what else? Let me see. I'm trying to double check if I'm missing something. Because I really want to do videos like a one after the other one so you guys don't miss any details. Alright, so now the defensive points. That is something this is another cool new feature. When I upgrade my level at uh, the level of my pirate mansion, I got some extra defensive points. Defensive points are little blue shield that you see on top of the building, right? I even if I have the resources, all depend on how many of those uh, defensive points I have available in order to construct something. For example, right now I can build a rifle tower. I cannot build it. Oh no, actually I can. I can build a cannon tower. I just don't have enough uh, goal at this point. But uh, that is interesting because that is co it's a completely new feature when you need to manage those defensive points and see what is better for you. You need walls, you need towers, you need cannons. Well, you can have them all, but uh, <laughs> you're going to have a, a limitation on defensive points. And let's go to the leader lodge because it's finally available. Walker the Plank. Le Plank. <laughs> Walker the Plank. <laughs> nice name. This is an expert marksman with a long range. Not bad hit, 500 in hit point, 150 damage. Good speed, 3. And the first hero, the first leader in the game is free. So choose wisely. Okay, This is probably the one that I really want to unlock. Walker of the Plank. Bookshot is one of the special active talents. The other one is the True Shot, Instant Shot. Currently target for 200% damage. Wow, that's quite powerful, right? Quick and reduce active talent cooldown by 1 second. And the other passive talent is um, Sniper. Increased damage by 5%. I think I have, um, I have my leader already. <laughs> but just in case, let's take a look to the other one. Dalton John. Okay, this one is, I can see it's like a melee. 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 Or whatever you guys want to pronounce it. Uh, pirate. Looks powerful. Of course, I got more hit points than, uh, than our first marksman leader. But the damage is uh, it's not like, as great as the other one, right? And let's see the description. We apparently will always sit up on the shoulder. There. <laughs> Life of any party. Smash! Smash! It sounds like a Hulk. Stone is the other active talent. Enemy is in range of stone for 3 seconds. Weapon training increased damage by 5%. That is the passive talents and armor. Decrease incoming damage by 10%. Not too bad. Not too bad. I just... I think that Walker LePlanc is going to be my first, first, first leader. I just have the feeling. The Brewmaster Bob. Okay, this guy looks like he's wasted. This guy's just coming out of the party or something. <laughs> he looks so, so wasted, my friend. Uh, I can see this. Uh, okay, so. Ba -da -ba -ba. Oh, so this is the healer. Nice. A lover, not a fighter. <laughs> <laughs> nice this is okay okay i thought you were a powerful with a lot of hit points and doing a lot of damage but i believe you are the healer nice crock shot that's a first first active talent second reduce nearby friendly unit damage by 20 percent for four seconds no bad at all right Passive talents, we have grow for all heal nearby units by one percent of their health per second hmm? And the other passive talent is Tactician. Reduce damage taken by friendly units in range by 5%. Wow. Okay. Kind of difficult. All right. 
I don't I don't appreciate Nitro games that you're putting some awesome <laughs> leaders. So I'm not really sure which one I should pick. But Walker LePlanc is probably my favorite. Got some decent decent damage. And I like range range heroes, right? You can probably push those clovers in front and then just use uh, Walker LePlanc as a marksman. I like it. I like it. It's kinda difficult. Alright, so take your time, okay? Slow down for a second and pick up the right leader for you, depending on your game style. So I think Walker LePlong, you are coming and welcome to my to my army. So now if I need to unlock another one, wow, I get I need a hundred skulls. Wow. I still gonna try to unlock those so we can test them and put them in action, right? That's the whole idea of my videos. To show you a little bit more about the game, um, so we can all learn together as I play. Okay, what else we have? Barracks. Uh, -ba -ba. Let me see if we can get a couple. Yeah, I have room for a couple more scallywags. And we can probably put this hero in the battlefield. This is one area that I really want to clean. Probably put a tower in there, probably a cannon. I'm not really sure. Still, I haven't figured out how I'm gonna work out with the defense. Uh, I haven't unlocked. Oh, well, let me put it this way: I I haven't fixed the lighthouse yet, so PVP is disabled for now. But I really want to get PVP going probably in the next couple days. In the meantime, I'm trying to get familiar with all the um, the different features of the game. There you go, and another raid camp because I really need gold. So let's go for an attack and see if we can get some extra resources so I can clean that area and probably put some buildings in there. Uh, Isla de Cuchos or something? What? <laughs> Les Chucos. Chucos? Okay, my French is not doing well. So we're gonna probably avoid that. All right, so oh, I can see some big guys in there. Those clovers looks like a pain. For my pirate, ah, I think my pirates are capable. All right, so we're gonna create a couple squads one with some clovers and some scallywags. Yeah, I believe that it's gonna be my squad of melee characters and from range. So it's Cottrell's and Walker. There we go. All right, so let's target some different units. Got all the melee units attack. Oh, they're really slow, the clovers. Wow, I need to be careful. All right. Next attack is gonna be different because uh, I can see that the clubs are extremely, extremely slow, and I don't want to have my scully wax in in the front just fighting by themselves. Okay, so probably I'm gonna probably create a squad with the, some clubbers and slow units before even before putting the scully wax and the clubbers together. I mean, I thought it was a good idea, but the clubbers are so slow. <laughs> Victory is ours. Nice. Okay, so we can level up our leader too, right? Still level one? Come on, level two? Come on. Ah, oh, come on. Give me one more point. That's Bologna. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. All right, let's see. Let's see. That was an interesting attack. I can see the how important is the leader with some extra, extra damage. I'm gonna get some more troops ready. Ooh, 19 out of 25, not too bad. Not too bad. There you go. And it's more rum. To unlock more uh, troops. And it's time to get another distiller going. Probably upgrade it. Rifle tower. Yeah, I, I'm still not sure how I'm going to work out with my defense. There is something that I'm planning to figure out really, really soon. But I think it's time to go and visit another of my neighbors and show them who is in charge of this island, right? I don't want to share, share my island with anybody. All right, so we have two of those zombie clovers. Uh, ooh, cannons. That sounds nasty. All right, let me see a clover in here. Oh, mistake. I yeah, deployed one clover when I was planning to create a squad. Okay, you need to get familiar with the squad creation. But once that you are, you should be in good shape. All right, so another squad uh, range unit with Walker. 
Um, let's push. We're gonna put it, probably put this guy. Ooh, got some laggy. It's not the game. It's the. It's my stream going from my computer or from I'm sorry from my iPad to my computer. So I apologize for that. There's nothing related with the rates of glory. Ah, even the sound sounds. I don't know. Maybe the, maybe it's so crazy the action that it is, it's killing my my iPad. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that sounds like BS, but still. Alright, so we can move the range units to target the cannon. Because I can see that the cannon is going to be difficult. Yes! Yes! Oh, that was good. I mean, uh, I can, yeah, I really need to get familiar with the rest of the troops. So we can come up with awesome, awesome, awesome combinations. Nice! Alright, guys, I'm going to leave it to here. This is the Game Hunter channel with another episode of Rock. I will see you in the next one. You guys take care. Bye-bye, parrots.